Good morning, it's Thursday, October 31st, and this is Slices of Wenatchee. We've got new episodes out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so make sure to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Today, on Tuesday, the Chelan County Commissioners passed a new resolution aimed at tackling unauthorized use of county property. This new code, formerly known as Chapter 8.42, focuses specifically on homeless encampments. And later, we're back to our 30 Under 35 series, where we spotlight young leaders making a difference. Today, we're featuring Courtney Mitchell. Before we begin, have you joined Neighbor yet? If not, download the app today and join local conversations about issues that matter. Neighbor is a site just for our local community focused on facts, not misinformation. Best of all, it's free for everyone. To learn more, visit WenatcheeWorld.com slash N-A-B-U-R. Now our future story. On Tuesday, the Chelan County Commissioners passed a new resolution aimed at tackling unauthorized use of county property. This new code, formerly known as Chapter 8.42, focuses specifically on homeless encampments. The idea behind the resolution is to address the growing concerns around public safety, waste management, and the impact these camps have on the county's public spaces. This decision came after a public hearing held on Monday where several community members spoke up. The feedback was mixed. Many people expressed their concerns over safety and waste related to the encampments, but there were also those who felt the new code was more punitive than helpful, failing to address the root causes of homelessness. It's clear that people have strong feelings on both sides of this issue. Commissioner Kevin Overbay responded to these concerns during the hearing. He emphasized that this new code is not about immediately criminalizing homelessness. Instead, it's designed to be more of a deterrent. In fact, he stated that individuals would only face charges if they returned to a county property after being asked to leave. Overbay even suggested taking more time to deliberate on the decision, especially since Commissioner Tiffany Gehring was absent that day. Despite his suggestion, the board ultimately moved forward with the vote on Tuesday morning and the resolution was passed. So, what does this new code entail? Well, Chapter 8.42 is a six-page addition to the Chelan County Code that declares unauthorized use of county property as a public nuisance. This includes camping on any county property except in areas specifically designated for camping or resting. If someone is found violating this rule, it's considered a misdemeanor offense. Other examples of unauthorized use include obstructing passage, endangering people or vehicles, and damaging county property. The new code also includes some specifics on enforcement. If a law enforcement officer has probable cause to believe someone is creating a public nuisance, they can issue a written order prohibiting that individual from entering or staying on county property. This order remains in effect for five years unless stated otherwise, and violators can face further charges if they don't comply. Importantly, anyone convicted under this code could face up to 90 days in jail or a fine of up to $1,000. The county emphasized that this new code isn't the only approach they'll use, They may apply other county codes or state laws to address nuisances, and they made it clear that this doesn't prevent them from pursuing other legal actions for abatement or damages. Chelan County spokesperson Jill Fitzsimmons shared that the county will continue working on the procedures for implementing the new code, and they've scheduled a workshop for Monday to dive deeper into these details. It's also worth noting that this isn't just a Chelan County initiative. The city of Wenatchee passed a similar unauthorized camping code back in June, and East Wenatchee is in the process of creating its own version. Next, 34-year-old Courtney Mitchell is the Vice President of Operations at Pioneer Title Company, where she also serves as an escrow officer. Since joining Pioneer Title in 2024, her leadership skills have quickly earned her a promotion, making her one of the youngest in Northwest to oversee operations at an escrow company. Colleagues describe her as a selfless leader who always credits those around her. In her spare time, Courtney runs the Entiat Youth Sports Program, offering soccer, basketball, and t-ball for local kids. As a lifelong resident of Entiat, this is her way of giving back to her community. Though challenging at times, she finds it incredibly rewarding and appreciates the support of parent volunteers and local businesses. Courtney draws inspiration from her family. Her husband, 8-year-old son, and 3-year-old daughter motivate her to work hard at both home and work. She also values the supportive environment her co-workers create. Courtney believes in the power of community engagement and emphasizes that it builds stronger connections and helps communities thrive. Her dedication to both her career and community makes her an outstanding leader. Thanks for listening. For more information on all the stories you heard today, visit us at WenatcheeWorld.com. The Wenatchee World has been engaging, informing, and inspiring North Central Washington communities since 1905. 
we encourage you to subscribe today to keep your heart and mind connected to what matters most in North Central Washington. Thank you for starting your morning with us, and don't forget to tune in again on Saturday.